today we're going to be reacting to Hypixel's brand new game, Hytale. So before we get into this, I got to give you guys some backstory, but go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested. So to begin, Hytale is made by a company called Hypixel Studios, and that is a company of a bunch of people led by this guy named Simon. And for the past three years, they've been, in addition to creating and continuing to develop their Minecraft server, Hypixel, which I've done a ton of videos on, whether it be Sky Wars, Bed Wars, Murder Mystery, etc. They're also in the background, they're working on Hytale. And today, they finally have revealed some information about the game, and they've kept everything like super secret, super like unaware to the public. So I'm really curious. So we're gonna go ahead and just look into this and see my thoughts. I likely will play this game on my channel, so that'll be pretty fun. Let's go ahead and get started. Hytale, a word of adventure and creativity. Okay, what is Hytale? I wanna know this. I wanna know what it is. Okay, embark on a journey of adventure and creativity. It combines the scope of a sandbox with a depth of a role-playing game, immersing players in a pristinely generated world where teetering towers and deep dungeons promise rich rewards. Hytale supports everything from block by block construction to scripting and minigame creation delivered using easy-to-use and powerful tools. Okay, so thoughts on that? Absolutely awesome. That was what my guess was as far as what I thought the game was going to be. I figured it was going to be a sandbox game, and I figured that it was going to definitely support creators a lot because Hypixel is known to do that through all different avenues on their server. So I figured they would do the same thing here. Hopefully I'll be involved in some of those like creator supported programs and such, that'd be really cool. But it's for adventurers, for mini game players and for cre creators, which is awesome. So adventure, a quest for the ages. As you traverse each generated landscape, you'll piece together the history of a world through handcrafted adventure scenarios. You might encounter a mage tower overrun with monsters, descend into an underground cavern or take on a colossal boss monster. With a wide variety of scenarios available at launch, no two adventures will be the same. Just saying, look at the graphics of this game. Absolutely awesome. Love the graphic style of this game so far, from what it seems. It's going to be pretty cool. Hytale sports many different play styles. Whether you think yourself as a settler, adventurer, or crafts person, you'll always have plenty to do as you advance through the story. Best of all, the adventure mode is fully playable and co-op. <gasps> oh my god. Gather a party of friends to combine your skills to leave a mark on the world together. Yes. Con just thank you so much. The team made this game multiplayer. Like everything is just co-op based and that's amazing. Both for YouTube content just to play together and love that. So like thank you for that. That's just awesome. Encounter dire foes. The world of Hive Tale is host to creatures large and small. From scampering critters to powerful monsters, each zone features its own unique wildlife with dangerous creatures standing guard over the most powerful gear in the game. Okay. Master the wilderness. Put down roots in any of Hytale's beautiful biomes. Grow your own crops, take care of your own pets, tame mounts and mounts. Okay. If you can ride a dragon in this game, I'm gonna like, I'm, I'm just, I have to go. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be too crazy, okay? If you can, if you can ride like a dragon, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna it's gonna just be too crazy, okay? Or like any bird or something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be crazy here, okay? You can build boats, cool. Other vehicles I'll be exploring, you'll have plenty of opportunities to be creative, whether you choose to build a cottage or a castle. Oh, wow. This game is fun already, and I haven't even played it yet. All right, discover unique worlds, experience moments of magic as our world generation technology creates spectacle on the fly. Rushing rivers carve tunnels through mountains, waterfalls tumble into ancient caverns, and bubbling hot springs promise respect from the perils of the wild. This actually, I'm really interested to see how the world terrain is in this, because a lot of people are probably going to speculate this is similar to Minecraft. And Minecraft doesn't really own a lot of the concepts that are in this game for the record, such as like, you know, infinite world generation. But I'm really curious to see how this game fares against like Minecraft survival and whether it's better or worse. If they're just too different, you can't compare them or what. I definitely think that's something that we're going to look into like when we actually get the game. But for now, it's just a lot of speculation. But I feel like a lot of people are going to speculate this game is going to be too similar to Minecraft. I really don't think it is. Like, obviously, there's some influence from it. And Hypixel has worked with Minecraft so much. So that's definitely a thing. But I don't think they're going to be worried too much about, like, the comparison between the two. I think they're going to be different enough where it won't really matter. Minigames. From the team behind Hypixel. We've been creating the most popular minigames around for over five years. Very true. I love all their games. They're pretty fun games. Probably some of the best developed on all of Minecraft servers. Whether you're a current Hypixel player, I am. A returning fan, I'm that too. Or entirely new to the world of minigames, Hytale is designed to offer the best possible experience for both players and creators. Awesome. Built for competitive play. Yes. Oh my God. We have actual potential for competitive play. This is huge because I feel like every video game that's made nowadays should have ability for competitive play with how esports is growing 
and such. That's definitely awesome. We've created a hightail with an anti-cheat in mind in order to make multiplayer fair and more fun. That's amazing because as some people know, Hypixel, the server, has some anti-cheat problems. It's still one of the better anti-cheats, but it's just not exactly there where we need it to be with how many hackers and cheaters there are on the network. But thankfully, Hytale won't have the problem. Powerful tools that gave mini game creators more freedom than ever. Nice. Complete control over camera position. Wow. Game assets. Wow. And basic mechanics. Nice. All our own custom game engine design for top performance on a wide range of PCs. Okay, that's good. Smart parental controls. Okay. I like that just because it's always good whenever a game com like a game company realizes that yes, little kids are gonna be playing our game. We should try to keep them safe. Love that. Okay. Thousands of cosmetics. All right. Character creator. Okay, you have to create a character. Awesome. Love that. All right. Play on our servers or run your own. Wow. Okay. So you can create your own thing there. All right. That's cool. Made for creator tools. Okay. A comprehensive collection of tools that grant players more creative power than ever. From model creation and animation to filmmaking, in-game scripting, and of course, building with blocks. Wow. Okay. That's going to be awesome. Cinematic tools. Wow. Okay. There's going to be literally stuff to help with machinima makers in this game. Like control keyframes using cd splines we're gonna have custom animations particles to your characters wow nice editing everything nice that's awesome modeling animation tools sick ingrained scripting okay that's nice everybody benefits from the greater freedom this provides 100 percent. okay now that's awesome love this so far okay let's see what else is on this website for us to check out okay uh let's go to news what's here anything all right we got an FAQ. Let's check this out. Hi, tail. What is it coming out? The game is the date is still to be confirmed. We're going to get in the hands of players, but we want to make sure we do it at a time that makes sense. We want to be confident that we deliver a first impression worthy of player expressions as well as our own ambitions. That's awesome. Good to know that. Okay. What are the different ways I can play Hightail? Adventure, minigames, creative. We kind of figured that out already. It'll be launched for PC and Mac. Okay. Nice. I like that. That's good. So it's a PC game. Can I reserve uh, my username? High total usernames will be unique. That means that there can only be one Bob or one Sally. We understand how important names are to people. So we're excited to know we've developed a name reservation system that will become available at some point within the next few months. More details come. Yes. Okay. High tail's not yet ready, but we're aiming for T for teen. Okay. That's okay. Makes sense. All right. To limit access to online playing custom content. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. It, we're still finalizing the, the exact details of this model. When that's done, we'll share more details. So we don't know if it's going to be free to play or paid. I'm curious to see what they do here. If this were up to me now, I'm no, I'm not exactly like in the shoes of Hypixel and their business team or whatever, but I strongly recommend making it free with monetization somewhere else in the game. Just because if you look at popular games nowadays, a lot of them are becoming free to play and they're making more money by doing like pay to play stuff. It seems to be a little bit more profitable that way. So we're going to need to try to do something similar here i think if we want this game to blow up but i could totally be wrong or maybe pay to play is the right way so we'll see hypixel you guys got this okay there's a beta testers waiting list okay cool so that there's that all right uh doesn't mean they're supporting is gonna stop supporting hypixel game servers no okay great it's gonna be the same server all right that's great um here we go let's see this is absolutely looking really really cool we have modding support you can literally mod every aspect of Hightail. Nice. You can run your own server. That's awesome. There's no minimum specs yet. All right, here we go. Let's see. Content creators FAQ. Will I be able to monetize Hightail's content? You'll be able to make your own Hightail content and server services and monetize them. There'll be a lightweight set of rules and guidelines regarding the creation of monetizing game content, as well as some basic do's and don'ts with regard to using your IP. These rules are aimed at improving user security, prohibiting extreme content, combating scamming, and so on. Yes. Thank you so much for that. That's awesome. A core goal of Hytale is to empower and enable all sorts of content creators. We want you to be able to support yourself by chasing your passions. Simon and the rest of the team, thank you so much for that. As a content creator who's done over a thousand videos on the platform, and none of them have been on Hypixel, I've always loved how much you guys like engage with content creators and support them and enable them. And I just love that. And I hope this game turns out to be like even better for the future of content creators. Okay, like I literally ended a phone call. Okay, like super early. Cause I was like, look, I need to see this trailer and I need to see these screenshots. Whew. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's start with the screenshots. Okay. These look. Holy crap, there's dragons. Can we ride this dragon? We might be able to ride this dragon. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Oh my God. Some of these 
under whoa okay the bosses look really cool love the graphic design of this game like it's not like too far out of like the normal sandboxy but it looks a little more like realism whoa 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 go back is that dynamic lighting that looks like dynamic lighting that could just be the screenshot but if we get dynamic lighting that's awesome you know it's like when you hold the torch and the light moves as you move that'd be pretty sweet okay we got lots of animals and mobs and monsters here okay we got like trolls goblins one or the other okay buildings some nice stuff i'm definitely curious to see this game in action like one thousand percent we got some wallpapers we got some concept art but now we got to get to the trailer this is what i'm excited to see okay let's watch this okay here we go I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. I don't think I can express how excited I am for this trailer. I've been waiting for this thing. Okay, we got animals. Okay, props, house, scarecrows. We got an anvil, chickens. Okay, a puppy. Okay, so you still mine and you know, you get wood and such. Okay, I like it. So it is dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting, because as he was moving around, you could see the torch. That's awesome. Good stuff. Okay, all these different biomes. Whoa. Can we just take a moment to look at this? This looks so cool. Like, all these different terrains. I love that. Love it. Those bees in the air. Oh, my God. Whoa. Look at this. Whoa. Okay. Combat. Just got... Okay. Got to take a moment. We got to pause for a second. Okay, so combat in this game. Okay. And the reason we're talking about combat so heavily here is because Minecraft's combat system is largely regarded as either you love it or you don't. Because if you guys don't know, from 1.8 to 1.9, they totally changed the combat system. So it seems like in Hytale, and I could totally be wrong, but it seems like they took some inspiration from Minecraft, at least there. Because there is a shield and there is a sword. But here's the difference that I think is going to make a lot of people okay with this combat system. A lot of people who play Hypixel don't like the 1.9 combat system because although you get a shield, your sword, to do maximum damage, you have to swing, which is click, wait, swing again, etc. So it's a really slow-paced combat system for a lot of mini games and such. But with this combat system, it looks like you can swing fast and still use a shield, which is awesome. So maybe I'm wrong, but that, that inspiration there, looking really, really good in my opinion. Can't wait to play with that combat system. Okay, there's a hot air balloon, a flaming sword, looking nice. Whoa, okay, he's throwing snow chunks at me, that's not good. We got a private island here. I like this, I like what I see. I love what I see, actually, straight up. Minecart system through the cave, nice, okay. A little questing area here, wow. Okay, this is looking good, looking really good. Looking so good. Okay, we got a chest up here. Community servers, definitely. So pumped for that. So pumped. Okay, we got some guys dancing around and stuff. Mini games. Oh, Sky Wars in Hytale. Oh my god. Blitz in Hytale. Oh my god. They have laser guns. They're making new mobs now. Epic Adventures. Okay. Being yourself, you can create your character. Watch videos together. Wow, everybody watch my videos in Hytale, make movies, yes, live scripting, okay, we got all these different zombies, whoa, okay, there's a dragon, there's a dragon, Hytale, oh my god, like, wow, 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 okay, so here's my final thoughts of the first look at Hytale, okay, first of all, I know I'm playing this game on the channel. So expect to see like a series, like a, probably a lot of videos. Cause I've done like nearly a thousand, over a thousand videos on this channel, mostly Minecraft, but I think we're going to have a lot of videos of Hytale too. So expect that it won't be replacing anything else on the channel, but it'll be in addition. So be on the lookout for those. When those come out, I'll definitely be uploading them and I'm going to give my thoughts. I'm going to probably create gameplays as well as tutorials, as well as opinion based pieces within the game. I'll probably do some other stuff with friends as well. So if anybody of my content creator friends is watching this and they plan on playing Hytale, let me know and we'll make some content together. Like I'm so down. And I definitely would love to talk to the development team 
at some point about different questions about the game, whether like once it's released or get like some interview based stuff created. I think that'd be really interesting. I think the community would love to see it. So if anybody from the team or anybody can get me in contact with anybody, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, anything down below in the comments, you can and, uh, let me know there or all my social medias are in the description. But here's my thoughts on the actual game. Okay. So I think a lot of people are going to falsely call this like Minecraft 2.0. I think that's a thing that I know is going to happen. A lot of people are going to say, well, this is Minecraft 2.0. And I, I disagree, okay? Now, I'm not trying to say that this game is not going to be bigger than Minecraft or not going to be smaller than Minecraft or what. Because I don't know, relatively, if this is going to be bigger or smaller than Minecraft. But what I do know is that this is a fresh game being brought to the table with already a decent player base from both the server and just Minecraft in general who are going to be checking this game out. So it is going to have a surge of players right off the bat. Now, here's the thing that I think will make or break this game. If they can maintain that surge of players, they're going to be fine. But if the game has a lot of issues at launch or whatever, and they were saying this is why they don't have a, re a release date yet. Because if they have too many bugs or too many issues like that, you're going to lose a lot of those players. And for this game, it seems like if they can keep that surge that they get right in the beginning, and instead of making a mountain that just drops down like a peak, if they can create more like a hill where it shoots up and it remains like stagnant or growing, that's ideal for a game like this, in my opinion. I do think this game has evergreen potential, meaning that it can totally last for years and years and years, but it depends on how much content there actually is in the game. But from what it seems with the multiplayer aspects and the many multitude of ways to actually create things and mod the game, etc., it seems like they're definitely trying to enable the game and its community to sustain itself for a long period of time, even if the dev team was to stop updating it. But overall, it seems like a really fun game. Probably going to be one of the most fun games I've ever played, I think. I haven't actually seen it yet, but I'm not going to lie. This is the game I've been the most excited for, I think, like in my lifetime. Probably. Definitely in the top five at the minimum. It's really, really awesome. And I can't wait to see it. But now this is where I open it up to you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. Let's get like a discussion going because I love to discuss things like this with you guys. What do you think about Hightail? Are you going to play it? Are you going to watch me play it? Uh, what should I do in it? What do you want to know about the game that isn't known yet, etc.? But I'll see you guys in another video. And if any of the dev team is watching, thank you so much for enabling creators in this. I just want to reiterate that. In addition to that, thank you for letting us monetize and upload content around the trailer and first looks and such. Love that because a lot of games will not let you do that, surprisingly. So thank you for that. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video, likely on either the Hypixel server or in the future. Hightail.